ligaments, cartilage, uh, bone, brain, blood cells, they can actually turn into those cells or they can cause those cells to be made, new cartilage cells. And when we're talking about your joints, that's what we're interested in doing. Okay, very good. And uh, Christy, when you first came to the Institute, how were you? I had three bulging discs in my neck. That's bad. Were yeah. you in pain? It did hurt um, every now and then, but uh, you know, Advil and stuff like that would help. Okay. But of course, I wanted to get rid of the Advil to not have to take that every day. Did it ever get you down? Um, no. Okay, you, you didn't let it get you down? No. That's good, good. How about headaches? Bad headaches? I had migraine headaches, okay. yes. Okay. I had at least two a month. Okay, bad headaches. And how are you now? Since I had the Vax-D um, mm -hmm. on my neck, um, my headaches are almost pretty much gone. Okay. I, I haven't had one in, I'd say, over seven months. And how's your neck? My neck feels much, much, much better. Oh, excellent. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Okay. And do you, do you, have you noticed any strength increase or is it any change in that, in your strength in your arms? Or did you ever notice any weakness? No, I, now, when I first came here, I, I did, I had, um, tingling sensations where my hand would fall asleep if I was driving uh -huh. and it doesn't do that anymore. Perfect, perfect. So you think that the uh, at the Institute for Physical and Regenerative Medicine that the uh, Vax-D uh, non-surgical decompression is, uh, is valuable for people? You think it would be a good thing I think to do? it's extremely valuable for people. I mean, it got me out of pain, stopped my headaches that I'd had for years and years and years, even went to a migraine specialist Mm -hmm. um, quite some time ago, he didn't know what to do about them. So all they did is put me on medication. Um, but the med, but the headaches are gone now, and um, it's been amazing for me. Oh, okay. good. Yes. Well, thank you very much for well, sharing this with people. No, well, thank you so much for allowing me to share it. Okay, great. This is going to be about. So, um, when you first came in, Miss Miller, how was your your knee? It was very sore, hurt. And I had been through it with the other knee, so I knew I was in for it. Yeah. And, and, so, how, and what did you do on the other knee? I had a knee replacement on the other knee, and I did not want to do that again. Okay. I think, I think a number of people are in that boat. Is there, since you had it, the knee replacement, is there a reason why you didn't want the knee replacement? Yes, because it still bothers me. It still bothers you? I, it, you know, there's a foreign object in there, and it just bothers me all the time. Okay. It's with you all the time. Okay. And on the uh, on the stem cell therapy, when we did that, uh, after that stem cell therapy, how's your knee now? I'm not in any pain. It's completely left me. I would wake up in the middle of the night with it hurting, but since the oh, stem right. cell, I don't have that anymore. Oh, that's excellent. And the thing is, I can walk without limping. Yeah, and you're an active one, aren't you? Yes, I, I work out at the gym. I do all kinds of things and physically, and that was just such a hindrance. But now, and to not have that pain, it's miraculous. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's really good. And uh, for anybody that's interested in getting uh, stem cell therapy, what would you tell them? I would tell them it's more or less saved my life, my lifestyle. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. ability to do things, right, and right. go on trips, and really kind of enjoy your right. life. Right, and just everyday functions. Okay. Before, you know, I was pretty much a couch potato. Yeah. But now I can get up and do things, and I'm back at the gym. Hooray! Well, thanks, Miss Miller. <laughs> thanks.